welcome to vision academy in this tutorial you will learn how to calculate and interpret multiple linear, linear regression in spc software so multiple linear regression is an extension of simple linear regression so it is used to when we want to predict the value of a variable based on the value of two or more other variables so which means there must be more than two variables for under consideration the variable we want to predict is called the dependent variable also can be called as outcome variable so the variables we are used to predict the value of the dependent variable are called independent variable so in the synonym usually called as predictor or explanatory variable for example you could use multiple linear regression to understand whether exam performance can be predicted based on revision of time test anxiety lecture attendance and gender etc so in this example we can, we will calculate the multiple linear regression for delivery time and number of cases to distance traveled okay this distance traveled is a dependent variable in this case and number of cases and delivery time is a independent variable predictor variable are time and cases observable variable or outcome variable is tra traveling distance so to calculate multiple linear regression i will go through analyze same thing as i gone through for uh, linear regression regression in that linear so as i said to you already in the multiple linear regression there will be two independent variable one dependent variable okay in this case i will consider distance traveled as dependent variable and traveling number of cases and delivery time as independent variable distance traveled is a dependent variable and number of cases and delivery time is an independent variable along with that i will uh, also select so estimates and mod of fit are by default selection in the linear regression either it is multiple linear regression or uh, simple linear regression so i will select confidence intervals too and also i will select descriptive statistics so i will give continue in the plots as i selected i will select x as z predicted variable and y as z residual variable and if you want to prefer for histogram you can select histogram too and give continue if you click okay and finally the out come is in front of you in the spc software firstly you are having descriptive statistics of distance traveled number of cases and delivery time and our concentration is on correlation and regression since we want to check the relation among established among independent variable and dependent variable we have we have to go for correlation so here we will check pearson correlation distance traveled to distance traveled correlate itself and distance traveled to number of cases is positive correlation very mild positive correlation there is a positive correlation established at distance traveled to number of cases whereas distance traveled to delivery time there is a positive correlation it is leading to strong positive correlation and if you look into the distance traveled to number of cases it is a positive correlation very mild positive correlation and distance traveled to delivery time is also positive correlation so it means there is an established relationship between distance traveled to number of cases and delivery time so in the further outcome we will look into the variables entered or removed and very importantly our concentration must be on model summary so where we will we are having the predictor value uh, where can we predict on the dependent variable to independent variable so r is carried from the correlation so here it is a multiple correlation so for dependent variable distance traveled to delivery time and number of cases there is a strong positive correlation some multiple correlation there is a 0.716 there is a strong positive correlation established among delivery time and number of cases to distance traveled so adjusted r square which means 
the predictor variable of uh, delivery time and number of cases can be affected by distance traveled is almost 40 percent which means 39.8 percent so that's a adjusted r square of r square so here r square is 51 percent which means distance covered can affect delivery time and number of cases almost in 51 percent 51 percent distance over traveled can affect the number of cases and delivery time the adjusted r square is incorporated the changes in the r square which means almost 40 percent of uh, distance traveled can affect the delivery time and number of cases which can be considered for the final outcome and standard error in this case is 16 percent so along with that a number of our uh, estimation coefficient of uh, regression and as well statistics of predictor variable residual variable that's minimum maximum mean and and standard deviation also you are having histogram for dependent variable that's distance traveled so along with that scatter plots for a distance traveled so this is how we will calculate multiple linear regression and multiple correlation in SPSS software. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe for further videos.